Have you ever been rejected by a girl or by a job that you couldn't get or just pretty much been rejected overall? Well, today, guys, we're going to talk about how to handle rejection and why rejection should not be taken so seriously. If this sounds interesting, guys, well, let's jump into it. When we get rejected, the first thing that we do is we ask ourselves, is there something wrong with me? Am I that ugly? Um, why didn't they choose me? Guys, I want to let you know that when you get rejected, it doesn't necessarily mean that something is wrong with you. It, all it is, guys, is that that person is just not interested in you. It could be for X amount of reasons. And guys, I want to let you know, I'm going to break it, break it down to you that when you get rejected, it doesn't mean that you give up on life and you lose hope and you go wallow in self-pity. No, I want you to understand that we are not made for everyone. Some of us are, you know, exclusively made for a certain amount of people. You are not going to vibe with everyone and not everyone is going to like you. Not everyone is going to think you're great. Not everyone is going to think that you're fine. No one, not everyone's going to think that you're the best at what you do. And one of the things that we do when it comes down to rejection is the minute we get rejected, we totally give up and we lose our confidence and we wallow in self pity when that shouldn't be the case, guys. I'm going to let you know, I want you to understand that looks are subjective and, and looks are all in the eyes of the beholder. What do I mean by that? Meaning that if you like a girl, okay, hypothetically say you like a girl and you tell me, does that girl look good to you, Javi or Flick? I can say no, because that's not the girl that I'm into. I like my girls a little bit thick, a little bit, et cetera, skinnier, darker, lighter. It all depends, guys. And see, guys, we are not made for everyone. Not everyone is going to think that we're a number 10. Not everyone is going to think that we're, we're beautiful. Some people are going to think that, you know, we're ugly. That's because it's all in the eyes of the beholder. It's all what, you know, that particular preference that person is into. And I want you to understand that, guys. I want you to understand that real clear that. It, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's something wrong with you when you're rejected. All it is is that you don't meet that person's interest. And what do you do? You move on to the next or you move on to the next job, guys. I don't want you guys to wallow in self-pity and put yourself down when it comes down to rejection. So you ask yourself, how do I handle rejection? Or how, how do I manage to take rejection? Guys, for me... I have an abundance mindset, but I didn't develop this abundance mindset overnight. It took years for me to develop this abundance mindset to say to myself that I'm great the way I am. And pretty much you have to accept your flaws and run with it. Like I mentioned before, guys, we're not made for everyone. Some people think that I'm the cutest guy ever, guys. And some girls think that I'm ugly. And there's some girls that are like, wow, you're, you're gorgeous. The thing is guys, is that, is that if we were to be put in a room full of a hundred women, I guarantee you guys that out of those, uh, out of all those a hundred women, about 20 to 30% are going to think that you're ugly because beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. I want you guys to understand that we are not made for everyone and not everyone is made for us. So how do you handle rejection? You move on. You know you're great. You know you're amazing. If you, if you really take care of yourself and you're all about self-improvement, you know, you know who you are and you know what you do. There's going to be someone out there that's going to like you no matter what. There's 7 billion people in this world. There's, there's going to be someone out there for you that's going to like you, that's going to think you're amazing, that's going to think you're great. It might not be that girl that you want, but definitely I can guarantee you that there's someone out there for you and I need you to develop that abundance mindset. How do you develop that abundance mindset? 
self-improvement. Guys, rejection is going to always happen. You're always going to get rejected by someone. If it's not a family member, it's a job, or it's a girl, it's how you react to it. How I react to it is I move on and I talk to another girl. That's all I do. A girl that's interested in me because I know there's some someone out there, another girl out there that's interested in me. So that's how you handle rejection. Guys, I was standing at a bar one day and I was hanging out with a few friends and one of my friends, he's never been rejected ever in his life. And he was so beat and he felt so like embarrassed that he got rejected by a girl that he wanted to dance. And you know what he did? He waddled in self-pity and he couldn't get over the fact that he got rejected. So what did I tell him? I told him, hey man, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and holler at another girl because there's more girls out there for you. That's how I want you guys to handle rejection. Move on, become the best version of yourself that you can be. That way you could attract, you know, more attractive women. That way when you get rejected, at least you get rejected by the finer women. That's what I do. I'm telling you guys that until this day, I still get rejected. But you know what? For me, it's like I smile and I say, man, you know what? On to the next. Because that's, that's how you got to look at it. On to the next. There's going to be someone out there that's going to like you for who you are, for what you do, for the color of my skin, for my swag, you know? And that's what I want you to look at things, guys. Guys, I hope you found this video informative. And until next time, guys, don't forget to hit the like, hit the subscribe button as I will be bringing more topics about this subject. Drop a comment and let me know what you guys think. And until next time, guys, I'm your boy Flick, improving your life one video at a time. Peace.